So let's now create a watch list. By default, there's already some watch lists already created on the platform. If you left click on the drop down menu found right here, you're going to find some already default watch list available already. So the Tasty's watch list, if you want to see what Tom's trading, some 52 week highs or lows, there's some cryptos, dividend earnings, certainly here. But if you want to create your own, we're going to click on the gear icon that is right here. Let me bring back the arrow. Okay. So when we want to create a watch list, we'll go into the settings. We have to left click on list, and then you're going to see the watch list menu. So first we need to click on the green button that says add new list. Let's give it a name. And then we also have to add in a ticker symbol. So maybe let's add in the ES futures. Once you have the ticker symbol and you gave the watch list a name, you can click on the blue bar that says add ES or add ticker symbol to your watch list. And then we get a nice little notification that it's been created. Let's hit OK in the bottom left, and this will navigate us back to the primary screen. So now we revisit that drop down menu from before. The watch list we created is now at the bottom where we can select it. So to add in additional symbols, we can now search for different tickers at the bottom right here. So for example, if we want to add in maybe the micro features as well, then we can hit the blue plus sign and it will automatically add it to the watch list. Let's add in a few more. Maybe we want Tesla, Netflix, maybe Jeppy, maybe some market internals, maybe a put call ratio, like that. Now, if you already had a watch list already created from a previous broker, you can import it directly to the Tasty Trade platform. But you would first need to export the data into a spreadsheet. And then if we navigate back to the platform settings by clicking on the gear icon, and then go to list. At the bottom section here, it will show you that you can import a watch list. So let me highlight the section right here. So you can import that spreadsheet here, and it will import that existing watches from the other broker. OK? Now, since we're still in the settings, if you left click on the left sidebar menu at the top here, this will allow you to customize what headers you see in your watch list. For example, if you want to see which companies are adding dividends soon or having earnings, upcoming earnings, you can move it from the not displayed column over to displayed. So let me remove them and then add them back, just like that. And then hit OK in the bottom left. And you can also rearrange your watches with a left click on symbols right here. And this will sort all your tickers alphabetically. And you can also left click on change percentage here, assuming you have the column on. And it will rearrange it from the biggest losers in the market, say, to the lowest or the best performing ones to the biggest losers. And then depending on your screen real estate, you can adjust the width of your watch list to fit your screen size. So if you hover your cursor in between the watch list and the center panel, you're going to see this vertical bar pop up. And then if you left click, hold and drag it left or right, it will expand or make the watch list wider or more narrow. If you want to remove any ticker symbols off the watch list, just right click on the symbol and then it will have a menu for you to remove it like that. Okay.